Good morning, Lori. Good morning. How are you today? Good, how are you? Good, good. So how come you can hear me? <laughs> because we're live. <laughs> nobody, nobody that um, is live, I don't know. Nobody that's following or that's watching can hear except for me. No, everyone watching can hear both of us. No, no, no. Exactly. <laughs> so if you're here joining us on Facebook, uh, we also have the class streaming live on Instagram. And Lori just joined us here to show some different variations of the poses. Lori is a longtime organic pose student and volunteer. And uh, yeah, she's joining us here this morning on Instagram. So if you like to see uh, different variations of a pose, feel free to meet us over on Instagram. And we have a few minutes left, so during this time, grab a blanket or blocks or some sort of uh, homemade props for yourself, maybe even um, a towel or a sock for one of the poses that we're going to do today. Actually, let me go grab a scarf or something too, or a yoga strap if you have one. Let me use this scarf right here. Hey, Lori, do you have a yoga strap or a scarf or a tie or something like that? Okay, perfect. So today we're going to be working on the glutes and uh, the lower back. And if anyone else joining us here this morning uh, has any other areas of the body you like to focus on, just shoot us a little note. Also, let us know your name so we can see who's joining the yoga room to practice with us this morning. And we'll get started sitting up. Nice and tall, Lori, sitting flat on your bum with your legs crossed. And just finding a comfortable seat. Your hands can be right at the top of your knees with the palms up, or the hands can be facing down. In whichever hand position you choose, go ahead and Allow your eyes to close. Allow your lips to close. And if you're just joining us here this morning, welcome. Join us sitting up nice and tall with the chin slightly tucked. And just starting to shut out all the external stimuli with the eyes closed. So we can start to bring our awareness inside. First, just by noticing how we're breathing. Go ahead, place your right hand on your chest and take your left hand and put it right under your low belly. And feel the breath as it comes into your body as you breathe it in through the nose. Feel the breath move out of your body as the shoulders move away from the ears and the chest softens down. And on your next inhalation, take the deepest breath you've taken since you've been up. Go ahead, breathe in, 
Fill your lungs up, feel everything expand with your breath. And then open your mouth as you release. Good, take another deep breath in through the nose, fill up your belly, fill up your rib cage, fill up your chest, and then press it all out through your nose. Feel the release in your body as you let the breath go. Deep breath in. And then let the breath go. Fill the lungs up. Start to constrict the back of your throat as you press the breath out through the nose. So you start to hear your breath a little bit as you inhale. And then as you exhale, listen for the sound of your breath. They call this this ocean-like breath, ujjayi breath. Breathe in and audibly press your breath out so you can hear it. Good, take two more ujjayi breaths here in this seated position. And throughout practice, if ever your mind wanders out of your body, off of your mat, Try to bring it back to the sound and the feeling of this ujjayi breath. And on your next inhalation, take a deep breath in, circle your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Reach up, look up past your fingers. And as you exhale, start to come forward. Start to walk your fingertips all the way out in front of you. Press your glutes, your sitting bones, all the way back into your yoga mat. Lift your chin out towards your fingers and as you exhale, start to fold all the way in, keeping your back as straight as possible. Maybe you have a blanket or a block or something like that you can rest your head on this morning so there's no strain on your neck or your shoulders. And let's take five of those ujjayi breaths here. That word in yoga or in Sanskrit means victorious. So work to hear that victorious sounding breath. Breathe in and press it out. When your next breath in, start to feel your body, lift your arms all the way back up towards the ceiling, reach up and look up. And as you exhale, start to fold forward again, coming back into that forward fold, releasing. This time, see the two again, reroute through your sitting bones, press them down in the yoga mat and fold in and breathe here. Take five of those audible ujjayi breaths. Maybe you peek at the thumbs or you let the nose look down towards the floor. So again, there's no strain on your neck or your shoulders. And on your next breath in, start to fill up, lift your arms and rise up. Lift your gaze past your fingers and reach as you press down through your seat. So your torso lengthens and then press your right hand down by your right side. Draw your awareness to your glutes. Press those muscles into the mat and then start to stretch your left arm over towards the right side of the room. Draw the shoulders back so your chest is opening up here. And then take a deep breath in, fill the lungs up, reach all the way back up towards the ceiling, look up. Press that left hand down into the floor, reroute through both sitting bones, press that right cheek down, it's gonna wanna lift up. And then take a big breath in and reach your right fingers over to the left side of the room. Nice, peeking past your right elbow, drawing the shoulders back. Take another deep breath in, feeling your chest inflate with breath. As you exhale, root through the sitting bones, knees drawing to the floor. Take a deep breath in, lift the arms all the way back up. Let's try that again from side to side. Let the right hand fall. Deep breath in as you reach the left arm up and over. Take an inhale so deep that you imagine your ribs separating with your breath. Good, inhale, fill your lungs up, reach up, look up and change sides as you release. Stretching your right arm all the way up and over. Breathe in, filling up, reaching both arms back up, lifting your gaze up. 
And as you exhale, plant the hands and come onto your hands and knees. Take your time to get there. If you have a blanket, it could be a yoga blanket or just one from your bed or your sofa. Take it out to the corners of your mat. Take your knees far apart to the corners of your yoga mat and bring your toes together. Grab your pillow, blanket, or blocks and go ahead and sit back onto your heels or in, move the hips in that direction. And then maybe you let your head come on the floor or it can come onto a block or it can come onto a blanket in your variation of child's pose. This is too much on the knees. You can always come up to a stable table. Otherwise, take five deep Ujjayi breaths here in your variation of child's pose. And throughout this class, we're going to work to maintain that audible Ujjayi breath that you can hear. And if any time you don't hear your breath, I encourage you to come right back to child's pose or an easy seat so you can breathe deeply and audibly. And on your next inhale, go ahead, rise up to your hands and knees in your stable table. Go ahead, straighten the arms, spread the fingertips far apart. And as you exhale, start to hunch your back, round your spine, tuck your chin in towards your chest and press the toenails into the floor. As you inhale, lift your chin up and let your belly drop down. Good, take a deep breath in, lift your face up. Drop the belly down as you exhale round your back as much as you can. Deep breaths in as the body lifts, drawing the shoulder heads back and exhale as you round. Take a couple more of those at the pace of your breath. Good, again, feeling that engagement in the glutes here as well in all of our poses we flow today. On your next inhalation, make your way to this flat spine, walking the knees back just a little bit to get this length in your spine. On your next inhale, reach your right arm all the way out in front of you with your thumb facing the ceiling. Nice, Lori. And as you exhale, reach that left leg all the way back behind you. And we're not only going to start to link our breath and our movement. <laughs> I see you, Lori, thank you. <laughs> We're going to begin to engage our glutes. Take a deep breath in, reaching the foot and hand out in opposite directions. As you exhale, bring your knee to meet your elbow or move in that direction. Inhale, reach all the way out. You can also lead the toes down and press back through the heels. As you exhale, bring the elbow in to meet the knee or to meet your belly if that left foot is down. Inhale, reach all the way out, extending your body, and exhale, curl it in. Release your breath in that stretch. Take one more big breath out. Good, exhale. Lift that left foot up towards the ceiling. And again, your foot can stay down here. If it is, press back through that left heel. If your foot is lifted, hang out here. Maybe you start to reach the right arm back. If you reach the right arm back, work to stack your right shoulder over your left and look at the ceiling. If your breath still feels nice and balanced here, go ahead and reach for the foot and open up the chest. Otherwise, maybe you continue to reach back. Good. Take one more breath in here, stacking right shoulder over left, and then go ahead, lower your right hand and left knee down. Round your spine, release your breath and your head. And then take a deep breath in, fill your body back up, energize it with your breath. Come to your stable table and let's try our other side. Take a deep breath in, reach your right arm or uh, reach that left arm all the way out in front of you. Then start to extend the opposite leg to the back of your yoga mat and breathe. Turn your thumb up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, go ahead and bring the knee to the elbow. Good. 
full inhalation, extending the body. Again, you can press back through the heel, maybe not lifting the foot up. And as you exhale, bring the elbow in to meet the midline. Maybe the elbow meets the knee. Take a deep breath in, reach out. And exhale, bring it in. Good. Last one, reach all the way out. And then if your foot is down, let it stay down. Get that extension in your back. Stretch the largest muscle in the body, your glutes. Maybe if your foot is up, you start to bend your right knee as if you want to press your footprint on the ceiling. So if you're on Instagram, you can see the variation that Lori is doing. And then go ahead, start to reach that left arm all the way back, twisting from your navel, stacking shoulder over shoulder. Good. If your breath is still balanced here, perhaps you reach back and catch your right foot with your hands as Lori is doing. Lori, look all the way up at the ceiling. Take a deep breath into the chest. Exhale, lower the hand and the knee down. Good. Take a few cat and cows, balance it back up. And if you fell in that pose or you got wobbly, perfect. You know, we're shaking ourselves into shape mentally and physically. Every deep breath is another chance to start again. All right, let's come to that stable table. You can stay here if you like, if this feels good and your breath is even and you can still hear the ujjayi breath flowing. Otherwise, fold your toes under so the bottom of your toes are pressing on the mat and then start to lift your hips up towards the ceiling in downward facing dog. So you can be here in this downward dog spreading the fingers far apart, drawing the shoulder blades down the back, away from the ears, and then start to pedal the feet, walking your dog. If you're on your hands and knees here, you can move the hips from side to side. Just gently bringing some mobility into your low back as you can continue to breathe deeply here. Good, then go ahead. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. If you are on your knees, make your way to a standing wide leg forward fold. We're going to take a deep breath in, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold all the way in. Walk the heels of your hands back to meet the heels of your feet. We're in that direction and breathe. Feel the hamstrings lengthening. Take a deep inhale as the belly expands between your thighs and then take a deep breath out here just feeling this nice stretch along the back body and then shake your head right and left yes and no and then start to walk your hands back out in downward dog or come down to the hands and knees and take five deep breaths here you can always go to child's pose in any one of these positions that you're guided in just so you can maintain that attention and focus to your breath. On your next inhalation, start to lift your knees or your heels off the ground and bring your feet to meet your hands. I'm gonna to come to the back of the mat so I can still see everyone. And as you inhale, lift halfway up. Your hands can come to a block or your hands can come to your shins like Lori. So flatten your back here. There you go, and then roll the shoulder heads back. As you exhale, fold all the way in, looking at your knees or maybe your navel. Root down through your feet, and then take a deep breath in, circle the arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Look up, stretch up, and then bring your hands all the way down towards your heart. In mountain pose, and close the eyes for a moment. As we stand tall in mountain, Gently tuck the chin, lengthening the back of the neck. Let the shoulders fall from your earlobes. Notice the subtle movement of your body with your breath. As you inhale, feel it rise. And as you exhale, feel it soften. Now with your eyes still closed, lift all 10 toes off of your yoga mat. You might start to wobble a little, but then go ahead and press all 10 toes back down, rerooting. 
engaging the muscles in your feet, your ankles, your legs, engaging the quads so the legs start to straighten here. Tuck your pelvis and now engage your glutes so the spine lengthens. And throughout class, you wanna feel this total engagement in your low body. Feel the breath moving throughout your entire body. And on your next inhale, circle your arms up to the ceiling, reach up, open your eyes up and look past your fingers. As you exhale, catch that left wrist and stretch over to the right side of the room, drawing the shoulders back and peeking past your left elbow. Inhale, come back through center and change sides. Good, take a deep breath in, reach up, look up. As you exhale, fold forward over your straight legs. Maybe you bend the knees a bit, putting some space between the legs even. As you take a breath in, lift halfway up, inflate your belly. And as you exhale, come on down to your hands and knees. If you feel energized and your breath is steady, maybe you come to the top of a push-up. Plank pose. Let your breath decide which position you're in. This pose also is great for toning the glutes as well as the core. Take another deep breath in here with your knees lifted or lowered and take a deep breath and lower with control. Let your elbows shave the sides of your body and then eventually bring your chest to meet the mat and press your toenails down. As you inhale, start to curl the heart up towards the ceiling without clenching the glutes and exhale to your table or to your downward facing dog and breathe. Take five breaths in table, downward dog, or child's pose. And today we're focusing on these glutes, not just to have flattering yoga pants, but uh, for support, toning the glutes offers support for our low back, our knees and our hips. So as you move through these poses, work to keep that part of the body engaged. On your next inhalation, start to lift your knees or your heels and bring the feet to meet your hands. Coming into a standing forward fold. As you inhale, lift halfway up, flatten your back here. Exhale, fold in half and gaze at your knees or your belly button. Feel your lungs up, stand all the way up, root through the toes, the feet, feel the ankles, legs, and glutes strengthening. Palms come to your heart center. And let's move through that sun salutation again. Deep breath in, lifting the heart, filling up. Good, start to take those side bends from right to left at the pace of your breath. So as you inhale, lift your body, and as you exhale, Release. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, let it go, fold in half. Inhale, fill. Exhale, release. Come down to the hands and knees or the top of your push-up. Take your time and very slowly lower down to your chest and move into your cobra. You can always skip this and go right to downward facing dog or to your table or even to your child's pose. Any position you need to go to maintain that audible ujjayi breath, that ocean-like sounding breath. This next round, I'm gonna flow with you so the ujjayi breath can be demonstrated. So take one more deep inhale and exhale here through your nose. And on your next inhale, start to lift your knees or your heels and bring your feet up to meet your hands. Take your time to get there. Deep breath in as you lengthen the spine halfway up. Exhale as you contract the belly and fold forward. Fill your lungs, reach up, breathe in. Exhale, start again in that strong, steady mountain. Good, fill and lift and begin 
with your side stretches. Maybe lifting a foot this time if you like. If you can hear me breathing, that was intentional to demonstrate that ujjayi breath. When we hear ourselves breathing, it naturally focuses our minds on one thing, the sound of our breath, and keeps that focus inwards. So take three more deep ujjayi breaths wherever you are, in your table, or your downward facing dog. And after your third exhale, we'll meet at the top of our yoga mat with our knees bent. Take your time to get there. See that your ankles are underneath the knees, knees underneath the hips, and then start to shift your weight into your heels. Take a deep breath in, fill your belly up, start to let the breath Lift the torso and the arms in your chair pose. The deep breath in. Now we really start to feel this engagement in the glutes or maybe your thighs first. In fierce pose or utkatasana. Another wonderful benefit of strengthening our glutes is the support of the pelvis. Go ahead, gently tuck it forward take a deep breath in expand the belly as you exhale scoop the low belly in and up maybe sit a little bit lower in that seat take another deep breath in here through your nose exhale let it go release your breath in your body take that half lift as your belly expands with your breath and exhale come on down to your hands and your knees or to the top of your plank Yogi's choice. Take a full inhalation here, and as you exhale, lower down slowly with control, knees lifted or lowered. Good, fill your lungs and lift the heart. Just gently so the glutes don't clench, and as you exhale, come to the hands and knees or your downward dog. Go ahead, lift your right leg up and back behind you. If you're on the hands and knees or in that downward dog, start to stretch it back. And as you exhale, begin to bring your right foot up between your hands. Good. Lower the left knee down. And maybe use a block here to give yourself some support on the knee, or perhaps you bring your hands to your hips, moving right into this crescent lunge. Now, if you have more space to stretch here, step your right foot up or move that left knee back. So you feel this stretch through the inner thigh. Good. With your hands on your hips, take a deep breath in and circle the arms up towards the ceiling. Reach up and look up. Letting the shoulders fall away from the ear in that kneeling crescent. So Lori, is your left heel up? Yes. Excellent. So Lori is in the intensified version of this pose. So you may lift that left knee up and you can even put a little bend in that left knee if it's lifted to fire up the muscles, fire up the glutes. Good, as you exhale, surround that right foot, come on down to your hands and knees. Good, take a deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, slowly lower your chest down with control, engaging your abdominal muscles as you lower. Take a deep breath in, lift the heart as you fill up with breath. And then come on to the hands and knees or to your downward dog. And then start to lift that left leg up and back behind you. Go ahead and step the left foot between your hands. And again, you may lower that right knee down 
or you may keep it lifted, staying on the ball of your right foot. On your next inhalation, begin to bring your hands to your hips. Bring the right hip forward, draw that left hip crease back and lunge into your left knee until that left thigh becomes parallel with your yoga mat. Take a deep breath in and start to circle the arms up. You can be in this kneeling crescent or your right knee can be off of the ground. Take whatever pose allows you to maintain that deep, audible ujjayi breath. Good, exhale, surround your left foot and lower down to the mat with control or make your way to downward dog. Good, fill the lungs. Exhale, moving into your stable table or down dog and breathe. Let's all take a huge inhale through the nose here. Exhale, come to child's pose. Take the knees out wide and go ahead Send your hips back to meet your heels. Let the forehead meet a block or the yoga mat or a blanket. And work to balance your breath out again. Now that the body is starting to build a little heat, it's easy for the mind to move away from the sound and feeling of your breath. So take two more breaths in child's pose. And then we'll all meet in downward facing dog and try that flow one more time with a balancing pose so go ahead make your way to your table or down dog take a huge inhale and lift your right leg up and back behind you good start to bring that right knee into your chest and bring the right foot up between your hands good maybe the left knee stays down or maybe you lift the left knee a bit and start to lift the arms all the way up, making your way into kneeling crescent. Beautiful work, everybody. Feels like I can see you. <laughs> I wish I could, but it's all good. From here, start to reach out in front of you. Press back through that left heel and breathe. Balance your breath here. Root through the right toes and foot. And on your next inhale, start to float off of that back foot. You may even still stay in that airplane that's launching here, just like this, or with the knee down, reaching out. In whichever position, make sure that you're maintaining that deep, victorious breath, that ocean-like breath. Take one more deep inhale through the nose, Engaging your glutes so the hips are parallel here. And as you exhale, bring your left foot to meet your right. Bend your knees, have a little seat in chair pose. Good, thanks for joining us, Rachel, on Facebook. And as you exhale, release into your forward fold. Take a deep breath in, fill the lungs up with breath, energize the body. Come down to your hands and knees or your stable table. And let's give the other side a try. Good, fill up. Exhale, release your breath in your body as you lower with control. Take a big breath in as the belly fills and heart rises. And as you exhale, come to your table or right into downward dog, that inverted V. And then go ahead and lift your left foot up to the sky this time. It may be your left leg that you're lifting back behind you. And then begin to pull the left knee in towards your chest, gently engaging the abdominal muscles as you press that left foot between your hands. Good. You can keep the right knee down or you can lift that right knee up, moving into your kneeling or your full crescent. Wherever you are, take a deep breath in, fill up, lift up. Glutes still very much engaged on the right leg with a gentle bend in the right knee if it's lifted. And as you exhale, grow your roots through your left toes again like you did in mountain pose. And then start to lunge forward. 
Take a deep breath in here. Feel your belly pressing up against your left thigh. And as you exhale, there you go, Lori. She's already lifting that right leg up. You can keep the right knee down if needed, maintaining that Ujjayi breath, which I'll demonstrate. Good. Take one more deep Ujjayi breath in. As you exhale, step that right foot all the way back now, Lori. There you go. And lower your right knee down. Good. Take both hands inside of your left foot. Good. And start to inch that left foot over to the left corner of your yoga mat. Now that we've built a little heat, let's start to utilize it and stretch that big muscle in the back of our bodies out. Slowly start to come down to your elbows. Maybe you grab a yoga block or yoga blocks and bring your elbows down to them but making our way into Humble Warrior. If you've been here with us practicing throughout the weeks, you may have taken a class where we moved into this. So maybe this pose feels better now, or maybe not. <laughs> Every day is different. But when we work to strengthen and engage our glutes, it does free up some space in the hip flexors, releasing some emotional and physical tension. Let's take three more deep Ujjayi breaths here in Humble Warrior. Breathing in through the nose and audibly breathing out. After your third exhale, take a deep breath in and start to rise up to your hands and go ahead and step that left knee back to meet your right. Move the hips from side to side or go to downward dog and walk it out. Do whatever feels best for your body to bring the blood flow back into the hips and the hip flexors. Then from here, you may lift that right leg up and back if you're on the hands and knees, you can also extend the right leg back and then begin to bring your right foot all the way up between your hands. Good. Drop the left knee down and draw the left knee back a couple inches until you feel some stretch in the inner thigh. And then go ahead and take your right hand inside of that right foot and inch your right foot over to the corner of your yoga mat. You might even roll on the outer edge of that right foot to create a little bit more space in your hip flexor. And then slowly come down to a block, a blanket or a pillow that you have at your house and let your elbows rest. You may even stay up here on your hands if that allows you to maintain that deep, victorious ujjayi breath through your nose. Let's take five of those deep breaths here together. On that next inhale, start to lift your body up. Coming on to the hands, take your time to get there. Bring that right knee back to meet the left. And you can hang out in this table pose or go to downward dog and walk it out. Or stay on the hands and knees and move the hips from side to side. Good. And then eventually we'll all come down on our hands and knees Come to a seated position. Take your time to get there. Okay. And then we're going to stretch our legs all the way out. Taking the flesh away from these gluteal muscles. Internally rotating your thighs and drawing the ankle bones together. Take a deep breath in as you circle the arms up. Reach your arms up and look up. As you exhale, reach out to catch your ankles 
your shins, maybe your feet, whatever available for you this morning. Fill your lungs up and lift your chin out towards your toes. As you exhale, start to fold forward, fold in, peeking past your toenails to keep the spine straight. Good, Lori. Deep, audible breaths through the nose. And from here, notice what your back body is doing, those glutes. See that you're continuing to press them down into the yoga mat. Lengthening your hamstrings here as your heels press forward. Let's take three more deep breaths here in this forward fold. In your next inhale, start to lift your body all the way back up and roll down to your back. Take your time, maybe use those elbows to help you down. And I'm gonna adjust my camera while Lori makes her way down to the back. Hug your knees into your chest. Good, and rock a little bit from side to side. Give your low back a little massage. Good, then press your feet down on the floor and take your right ankle and press it right over your left knee. Good, and then take your right hand and weave it between your thighs and catch right underneath your left knee with both hands. And right here, you may not feel anything but then if you begin to bring that left knee in towards your face and flex the left foot, you just might. You'll feel a stretch through the gluteal muscles. You'll also feel a stretch in your hips in this reclined pigeon pose. So again, from stretching and strengthening our glutes and toning them, we support our low back, our hips, our knee health. So take a few more breaths into this, just noticing the sensations. Observing them without reacting to them. And then go ahead. Bring that knee in just a little bit closer for these last couple breaths. You'll feel the outer edge of that right thigh getting a good stretch here. And as you exhale, release both feet down. Good, windshield wiper those knees from right to left. You'll notice a difference in how your hips feel. Then go ahead and take your left ankle and press it on top of your right knee. Moving into that reclined pigeon on the other side, take your left hand and weave it between the legs and take both hands underneath your right knee and start to draw the right knee in towards your chest. Flex your right foot and breathe. Breath by breath. Stretching out our back body to release those muscles around the low back. Take five more ujjayi breaths here. This ocean-like sounding breath through the nose. On that next inhale, fill the body up, and then go ahead and lower the feet down to the yoga mat. Windshield wiper those knees from right to left. 
Good. Then as you inhale, hug your knees back in towards your chest and press the footprints up towards the ceiling. Good. Lift your heels all the way up as if you want to walk on the ceiling this morning. So you feel that extension through the hamstrings. Some of us may stay right here or you can grab a block and place it right underneath the sacrum. Or you may take the hips and lift the hips over the pelvis, over the torso, over the shoulders into a shoulder stand. So taking yourself into whichever variation you would like. And if you're in that shoulder stand, you'll also feel the glutes engage here as you engage your quadriceps to straighten the legs. If you're in that shoulder stand, look up at the ceiling to protect your neck. Wherever you are, Take five more deep breaths here through your nose. Those deep, audible ujjayi breaths. Nice, Lori. Deep breath in, footprints reaching towards the ceiling. And if you have your hips up like Lori in shoulder stand, go ahead and take your toes over your head, moving into plow pose. I'm going to create some space here for this morning. So I could move into plow pose with Lori for a couple of breaths. However, if your hips are down, I want you to continue to press actively your footprints towards the ceiling. And if you're in this plow pose, work to take deeper, fuller, ocean-like sounding breaths. And on your next exhale, we'll all slowly Meet on our backs, vertebra by vertebra. Press your footprints down on the ground. Once you get down there, let the hands come by your sides. Gazing up at the ceiling, feel the lungs, feel the belly, and start to lift your hips up. And you always have that option to place a blanket or a block underneath the sacrum. You may also Use the strength of the quads and the abdomen to lift your hips up, making our way into bridge pose. And whichever variation you're in, we'll do one more asana for our gluteal muscles and our low back. Walk your left foot in just a little bit towards the center of your yoga mat, pressing your palms into the mat or clasping the hands underneath your low back. Take a deep breath in and start to lift that right foot up towards the ceiling. Just for three deep ujjayi breaths. Inhale as the footprint lifts. And exhale. Good. Take one more deep breath in here, everyone. And as you exhale, lower the foot down. Take another breath in, lifting the pelvis. And as you exhale, slowly lower down. Hug your knees into your chest. And as you exhale, plant the feet right back down and let your hands come down by your sides. On your next inhalation, feel the belly, feel it start to float the hips off of the ground towards the ceiling. And once you're in your variation of this back bend, either with a black or blanket underneath the sacrum or your hips lifting, press into that right foot and then begin to lift the left foot print up towards the ceiling. Engaging your quads to straighten the leg as you flex the left foot. Breathe in here. Feeling your back body strengthen breath by breath. Take one more huge inhalation through the nose, footprint floating to the ceiling. And as you exhale, slowly start to lower that left foot towards the ground. Take another deep breath in, hips lifting. As you exhale, slowly release your breath and your hips down to the floor. 
Good, hug the knees into your chest and rock a little bit from side to side. Keep that right knee hugged into your chest as you extend the left leg all the way out in front of you. Good, and then let your right arm splay out to the right and start to draw your left knee over towards the right side of your yoga mat. If your right shoulder starts to come up, maybe you come off that twist so the right shoulder can stay down and you feel the stretch along the low back and the glutes. And allow your chin to fall over the right shoulder. Take three more breaths here. Now practicing a more soft breath, returning to your natural rate of respiration. And go ahead, bring your knees back through center on your next inhale. And begin to extend your right leg all the way out, squeezing the left knee in towards the body. And then allow your left arm to come out to the left side. Start to draw that left knee over towards the left side or the right side of your yoga mat. And breathe. Feeling the stretch in the muscles along the spine, as well as those gluteal muscles. Good, inhale, come back through center, hug your knees into the chest. Press your feet onto the floor and let your knees start to drift apart like pages of a book as the soles of your feet come to touch. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms over your head, fill your lungs, breathe in. Hold the breath at the top, retaining it. Open your mouth and let it out. Allow your eyes and your lips to now close. Slowly start to stretch your heels one by one to the edges of your yoga mat. Allow your hands to come down by your side. In our final pose, Allow your entire back body to melt into the mat. Allowing yourself to completely release here in this restful state of awareness. As you lie down on your back, Scan your whole body. Feel the breath moving into those tight spaces along the back, the hips, if there is any left. Feel gravity releasing the body completely into the mat. And in this pose, scan your entire body. Maybe noticing those parts that have been strengthened, lengthened, or released in your practice today.
Slowly start to add some movement to your toes to reawaken your body. Gently add some movement to your fingertips. And slowly let your chin fall from one shoulder to the other. And then take a deep breath inside yourself, your entire self. Breathe in as you reach your arms over your head. Fill your body up. And exhale as you release it. Good. On your next inhale, draw the knees in towards your chest. And rock a little bit from side to side. Maybe draw some circles in the ceiling with your knees to get one last stretch of the glutes and massage at the back. And then rock over to your favorite side to sleep on in a fetal position. Slowly press the hands down and press your way up to a seat with your palms together, your thumbs resting at your chest. Chin slightly tucked so the spine is upright. Let's take one more deep collective healing breath through the nose together. On your next inhale, fill up. Open your mouth and let it go. Light in me. Bows to that same light in all of you. Namaste. Hey, Lori, how are you feeling? Awesome. So if you're watching on Facebook, Lori is a Long time Yoganic Flow student, friend, volunteer, inspiration. And uh, she's here with us today on Instagram, uh, just sharing her how she felt in her yoga experience. So thank you all for joining us here today. Uh, we also have two more classes in this series left on Wednesday and Friday at 8 a.m. So we look forward to seeing you in class then. Hope those uh, glutes feel nice and you feel released and relaxed. All right, thanks. Have a great day. Bye, Lori. Thank you so much. <laughs> See you later.